Hey folks, it's Don from Gaining Strength. In this video, I want to talk about total mortality in the United States in 2020, according to the Centers for Disease Control in the year of COVID-19. Was that mortality greater than expected for any other year? So I have up here the data for total mortality updated on December 14th, 2020 from the CDC website. The link is there on the slide. I'll put it in the description box below. In column three, we have deaths from all causes. As of December 14th, 2020, a total of 2.7 million people have died during 2020 in the United States of America. Of these, Per column tool, 270,482 involved COVID-19. It's interesting how they label the column deaths involving COVID-19. They don't say deaths caused by COVID-19. So roughly 10% of deaths involved COVID-19. Now, also according to the CDC, according to the link given on the slide at the bottom of the slide, in 2018, a total of 2.8 million people died in the United States. So there were 2.8 million deaths in 2018 and 2.7 million deaths in 2020 as of December 14th. So that was uh, 2.8 million deaths for 52 weeks in 2018 and 2.7 for 50 weeks, 2.7 million for 50 weeks in 2020. I'll get, come back to this later. Now, also according to the CDC, in 2017, the total mortality was similar to 2018, 2.8 million people. And in 2016, the total mortality was 2.7 million people. So if you put it all on a table, we have this. Total mortality in 2020, 2,748,341 as of December 14th, 50 weeks. In 2018, 2,839,405. That's after 52 weeks. In 2017, 2,813,503 after 52 weeks. And 206 in 2016, 2,744,248. So the conclusion is that according to CDC reports, there's nothing unusual about 2020 total mortality. In 2018, the total mortality for 52 weeks was 2,839,405 as shown by CDC data in the previous slides. If I divide that number, that total number by 52 weeks to get an average of 54,604 deaths per week. Take the 2020 total mortality for 50 weeks, 2,748,341. Divide by 50 weeks and you get an average of 54,967 per week. So the weekly average differs by 363. That's 54,967 minus 54,604. 363 death difference per week. If you take the 363 and divide by 54,604 per week, the number per week, the mean or average per week in 2018, you get 0 0.0066479 and 
that's rounded up from the from the uh, num number that comes out when you put it in a calculator. Therefore, the average weekly death rate of 2020 is only 0.7% higher during 2020 than in 2018. It's less than 1% difference from 2018. That's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.